Employment First is the idea that everyone should have the option. It should be the first option that we even consider for all people with disabilities. That's the American dream. I unload trucks, um, I deliver uh, food to different out outlets. Also, um, I check the meat stuff, like beef, chicken, cheese, frozen stuff to make sure that it's good. My manager always tells me, go down. Don't work too fast, just go down. Be patient. His job is very demanding. It would be tough for us to actually find somebody and train him to be as good as his job as, as he is. He's a, a, an integral part of our operation. He just goes at it with all that he has. Efficiency and energy. He's got it all. I'm going to walk in that job and feel good about myself and just, just do what I got to do. The individuals with disabilities are citizens of our country, first and foremost. They are people who live and are going to stay living in their, those communities. Insofar as we ignore a segment of our community, we really are doing ourselves and our community an injustice. I thought I couldn't do anything. And they also said when I left the state institution that I would have to work in a shelter workshop the rest of my life and live in a group home. That was their expectation. That was theirs, not mine. I needed to be in the real world to work. The time has come to shift what we're doing to look at integrated opportunities for people with disabilities. You talk about where you work and that's a big part of who you are. To have a whole group of people left out of that process um, is troubling to say the least. People think I'm crazy but I love paying taxes because I think it is an honor to pay your taxes. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a member of the society. Being disabled is defined as not being able to work. And yet we know that if you have a disability, you can, there are still ways in which you can work. Um, we just need to find out what those are. It's a civil rights issue. I don't want nobody giving me anything. I want to work for it. Just because I have a disability, it doesn't mean that I can't work. My morning starts with, I check the computer for my emails, what works needs to be done. I do my inventory. I check the building, 31 floors. There's nothing that she can't do. And she sets out so many goals here. This hard work. I had to step up. I had to learn and go up. And I'm only going higher. It, it doesn't stop here. Part of it is changing um, people's mentality about individuals with disabilities. People with disabilities don't have any um, worse attendance than people without disabilities. They don't get in more accidents. They actually typically stay employed in a business longer than, than other people. In the janitorial business, the turnover rate is two, three hundred percent. In our case, we've found that 2 to 3 percent, maybe 5 percent, has been our experience with turnover. And next one is? That break room has some scuffs marks on it, okay? The you business can... sense is that we get a better product, we get better outcomes, um, we have higher quality of what we're doing. With these trained, capable people doing these specific tasks, much better quality. We, as provider agencies, can go in and we can provide support to your coworkers, to the supervisors, to the individuals with disabilities. This is going to be good for your business. The bottom line is they're no different than anybody else. I have come a long ways and this is the best job that I ever had for 14 years. This is my home right here. People with disabilities, we're moving. We're making things happen. <laughs>